Dapat talaga lamang ang black water. Kung titignan mo sa mga statistics. And a nice jump shot from the outside. And that opens up the scoring sa ating third quarter. Nahatid sa atin ng Motolite. For Express and Service Call 370-6686. Coach Leo Isak starting with the same lineup that gave him that lead no? oh, ma. in the second quarter. Yung dalawang point guard, ano, sabay. Ito si Kanyada at si Rafi Reyes. But Jonas Pinalueva finally breaks the prolonged silence para sa NLEX. Sabi sa atin ang PLDD on DSL Triple Play Plans. Anong for all seasons ko pala siya. Nakatapos mo lang dun. Kasama ka naman kita dito. Ang St. Thomas mo. Yan. Pero Doc, itong during the half-time break isang kapansin natin. Yung NLEX ang tagal lumabas sa laaki room habang na Black Water relax na relax sa shooting lang. Hindi naman talaga nakuha ni Rami Reyes doon sa cash shooting ng halftime. Pasok na tres na naman at it's happy ng PLDT on DSL Triple Play Plans. Ang gandang kombinasyon talaga yung nangyari dito sa dalawang point and shooting guard ng uh, Blackwater Small but caring wala itong dalawang ito. Is this the first time we've seen this competition? Yeah, yeah, it is. I don't think they've used Kanyada for quite a while, no? And this guy... First game pala ni Kanyada. Oh, ngayon. that's why. And I know he can play. Pinersa. Magdali seems to have a lot of problems finishing on the inside. Kanyada na naman, may tanga ng bola. Pumunta kay Reyes. Kasama nila si Laure, Eram, at import nilang si Kuzan. He glides in, gets that basket off the glass. Nakapagpasabit pa ng foul. Olava whistled for his first personal dog. Hindi ko pinapakita na yung upper body strength. Meron din naman pala. Coming from the right. Ah, pag sa left, medyo hirap. Yeah. At sa puntong ito, let's get this report from Ms. Riza. Mago, Blackwater wants to continue running. And it's anchored, of course, on Kanyada and Rafi Reyes. It seems to be working for them. Dahil lang style daw nung dalawa, sabi nga ni Coach Leo, eh, kung baga medyo bara-bara, pag kakuha ng bola, baba na kagad. Bago pa nakaset up itong depensa ng NLEX of Road Warriors. I talked to Jeric and Rafi, and both are smiling. They enjoy playing with each other. Kasi nga pareho sila ng pace. Tulungan din sila. And if you would notice, they're like brothers having the same hairstyle even. Mago. Anytime you can attack with the big man, Asi Taulava trailing, and the shot blocking demon in Alexander, wala doon. Talaga namang magiging yamado ka. Pero hindi lang on the run, Riza. Ito na, Doc, yung three-point shot, tumatama na. And Lex, all of a sudden, down by 14 points as you join us back live inside the big dome. Pero nagpasapit na lang sa pagkakataon na yun. They're in dire need of points here, Doc. I think it's a three-point shot, so it might be a three-point attempt. So it might be three free throws here for Corporan. Ang tournament life ng NLEX already hanging in the balance. Still over nine minutes remaining in the third quarter of action. Very surprisingly, Corporan missed the first two free throws. He is a good free throw shooter. I think the concentration you know, may be slipping a little bit away from them. Believe it or not, those are his first three free throw attempts of the tournament, though. Ready in their penultimate game. Kanyada, iikot dito kay Laure. Reyes na naman, mula sa kaliwa. For his minutes, Paul Baran really has gone down in this tournament. Simply because they're too important. Three-pointer is a miss mula dun sa kaliwa. They'll get out of the way. <laughs> Pero wise talaga ito si Eddie Lau. Kaya mako na may foul mo. Kuya Eddie, stopping that run. No dunking, please. Yeah. <laughs> Baka may maisama na naman sa kanila sa highlights. Sabi naman natin si Alexander. Grabe naman talaga sa malampak ng bola. Medyo bastos. A great saver by Alexander. Borboran once again. This time, Rafi Reyes hounds him. Taulava faking that hand off to Madandi. Taulava take it away by Reyes. Taon na na si Ganyada. Sumasabay si Kuzan. Pero nandun doon si Madanley to break it up. But Kuya Eddie will set it up. Mula sa kanan, minti si Kanyada. Madanley beats him to that level. Ay! Burburan tied up by Reyes. Munting pa na-travel yun yun. Nagulat na. Napakayap. Kanyada for the board. Nabintatlong abante ng Blackwater Elite. 
may ginagawa ni Poet Tiffin, sending in Lingana eh. Guy who plays just like these two point guards of Blackwater. Sabayan, uh, Sabayan, ano to? And also has an outside shot. Luzon in trouble. Lalabas kay Laure for the long one. Bang! And just like that, matamis na, matamis na. This is a is na ang abante ng lead. Nothing is really flowing dito para sa index sa kanilang uh, half-court set. Yan ang problema nila. Alexander! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Magino! Pero medyo bastos with that reverse slam! Once he gets a running start, you can forget about it. May you show you all kinds of dunks. And Lingana is now coming into the ball game, replacing Jonas Pindanemba. Now, he is the same type of a player as a Kanyada or a Rafael. But he is a scorer. He, he can do a lot of things for the team as a point guard. Miss Reza? Bago pag sinilip mo yung highlights natin, imposible hindi kasama dun si Kwame Alexander. But Alex is hoping na yung high intensity niya sa mga ganong dunk mag-translate sa leadership. They hate to compare, but they're trying to look for someone like Al Thornton, yung dati nilang import. But they're patient because Alex Alexander Kwame nga daw is only 24 years old. Yung maturity, yung experience, makukuha niya yun in time. And they're hoping na ma-develop niya yun habang nandito siya sa Alex. Okay. They have one more game left on their schedule contra sa Barangay Hinebra this coming Wednesday. But do you see this guy returning here in the BBA? Who? Uh, Alexander. I doubt it. Medyo cool lang, eh, no? You have to do a lot of things to be an import of the PBA. Not only do you have to be a scorer, you have to be a leader, you have to know how to defend, and you have to rebound strongly. And, you know, I think maybe two of those uh, things that I've said Medyo kulag siya. Ito na naman yung dalawang maliit. Sumasagin seed para dito sa elite. Kuzan, the recipient of a beautiful pass. Laki Kanyada will shoot to the line for two shots. Mahirap sunahin si Coach Leo isa kasi sangkilin sa kanya. All his life, he's coach a team that has played against the zone. Marcus Kuzan had that free throw line for two shots. Three of three so far. On this Friday evening inside the Big Dome, he's coming off a 25-16 performance in the Karaan contra sa San Miguel Firme. But this is only his third game. Talagang, kita mo, those two guards are playing so well. Huruela has not come back ever since he's been rested. And you know how good Huruela uh -huh. is, no? He needs all locals in this team in a bunch of categories. And as he has been taken out, we have uh, Rico Villanueva coming in. They need that kind of uh, energy that uh, Rico provided together with Cañaleta. Remember when they were down 29 to Rain or Shine and even tied it at, I think, at 91 all? That's the kind of energy they need from their players right now. Cañaleta may tanga ng bola. Pupunta sila dun kay Lingana is a baseline. Kasama niya ito si Wilson, Villanueva, and Alexander. Wilson to Enrico. Right. He was stepping on the uh, no, on the fence foul. John Wilson, an Abituhan. So still a 13 point, 17 point lead rather. But Adidas of Blackwater elite. The largest it has been. What they're trying to do right now is go to a zone after some pressure defense. But you know, they've been hurt by the three point shooting of uh, the uh, Blackwater Elite. Libre na naman. Good close out there by Alexander. Reyes Metangan for the shoot. Laure from deep. Couldn't send it home. Kuzan for the rebound. Kumamangala sa kanyang pa yung bola. Actually, the referees... Oh, no, last touch, Alexander. That's right. The referees here actually are medyo mga class A natin yan. Eh. Si Mike Ligen, si Edward Aquino, at saka si Yante, no? Even their alternate, si Jim Mariano. So really, I think the league really took the importance of this game for both squads. Susan over to Laure. Laki na si Ganyada. Mintis on that three-pointer. Alexander's foul. Now, that's the fifth personal foul of Arab. Three of them committed in this quarter. So now they have to do a little replacement and take away that combination that has really been working so successfully for them. And now Brian Herrera is likewise coming off that bench. Kasabay ni Faundo. Parang may iniinda siya sa likod niya bigla. Sina si Herrera. 
Wala nung pagtayo niya, inaalalayan niya yung kanyang likod. Let's see what happens. Baka nagkaroon ng ano, dahil sa tagal ng nakaw. I saw him outside. He was running up and down there. Ganadong-ganadong siya maglaro eh. Wilson attacking that baseline, dribbles it off his own foot. Too many turnovers, you know. Here you have to be patient. You're down by a big margin. You're not going to swallow that big margin with one or two, three shots. So you have to take your time and then play defense on one hand. Score two points, three points, and come back. Pinabanggit natin ang Enlex huling laban nila. Will be on Wednesday contra Ginebra. Ito namang Blackwater sa Martes contra sa Star Hotshots. Another critical encounter as we wind down this elimination round, especially for the Star Hot Chats. Ang alam pa lang natin, as of now, eh ang San Miguel Firmin po, eh meron twice to beat advantage na sa quarterfinals. Di pa natin alam kung ano yung proper seeding nila. Basta top four na sila. Ang Alaska, Barako Bull, Rainer Shine at Global Port, eh pasok na into the quarterfinals. Ang nag-iisang hindi na po uusad, eh ang Blackwater Elite. But if... They hang on to the final buzzer with this lead. Isasama nila ang NLEX doon sa relegation zone permanently as Heruela misses Alexander Bort. Alexander looking to go coast to coast. Ayan na naman siya. Well, you can see the frustration on his face right now. Easily you can pass the ball, but his teammates are not moving to areas where they can shoot. So, hindi na lang na lang niya straight to the basket. Binanggit kanina ni Ms. Risa na hinahanap nila eh, parang Alcord ko, ano, a-scoring machine. Baka gustong patunayan nyo ni Alexander in this last game and a half, the third quarter na to, na kaya naman niya mag-scoring machine. So there are two things that you see here. Well, I miss this. That's his second miss from three points. That's going to be a loose ball foul on uh, Carmeleta. Thornton is seven. He's not. In second, Thornton played in the NBA for a couple of teams. He did not. May kamukha lang siya si Manny Mal, ano? As this Master Guapo Move is brought to you by Master Face Grub. Sekreto ng mga guapo. Okay, medyo nasagad-sagad ng konti na yung mga starting five ng Blackwater. Palit naman si Acuna kasi nakasona pa rin dito with Sandy Salvatore, all three-point shooters. Teruela inilapit after missing two three-point attempts. Mintish pa rin from the free throw line. Alexander, hindi awang gagad mga tao doon nung tinawid ni Alexander Bola. Akala, post to post na naman. Baka maka-attake ulit. Canaleta, another guy who can throw it down. This one goes, this time goes to the floater. Cardona on the attack. Finally, Mack gets himself on the board. His first basket of the game. The lead is cut down to 13 with plenty of time left in the third quarter. There's the pressure there. The sense of urgency. Nakikita mo na ngayon dito sa NLEX after being down by as much as 17. And look at the way they move on defense now, the way they close out. Oh, yeah, they're trying to force turnovers, and actually he was pushed. Oh, Alexander, medyo nanggigil doon. Halos palabas na rin naman talaga si Sunday. Ang problema, binigyan pa niya ng huling nudge. Back inside is Mark Araneta Colosim. Kusaan ang NLEX is trying to mount this late third quarter comeback. Alexander will attack Suzanne, goes to the sidestep, bothered by the defense of the big man. 62-49, Blackwater still up by 13. Kurt Kusan gave him all the time to take a jump shot. He didn't, he didn't accept that. Suzanne over at the other end is fouled by Enrico Villanueva. Two shots para ding. Dahil penalty na ang Enlex. Marcus is at the line. He's on already with a total of 17 points. Takes care of the first free throw. Alexander sending it over. The one-hander still could not drop out of the He scored less for him. Canaleta is getting it all. Sunday back over to Heruela. They go across to the Acuna. Two-minute warning in the third quarter. In announced na. Acuna to Faundo, baseline jumper, Sobra. Alexander secures that rebound. Alexander pushing hard. Cardona on the run, the teardrop. Para kay Matt. A good team game being played now by Alexander. Now that they've gotten themselves back in the ball game. Hindi na niya pinipers. The lead pass, ball really travels faster with the pass rather than the dribble. 
Labing dalawa ang abanding pinapakalagaan ng Blackwater Elite. Sunday Open. Nalaleta pang sa board. Nung wala yung swerte nila doon sa starting five nila at saka doon sa second quarter five nila. Tingana yung lines it up. Matalas, Enrico keeps it on that side. Cardona shifting directions. The deep drop is good. Make a Salomon foul. You finally found a guy that can score for you. Give you continuous scoring. All the others really have to do is help out. All six of his points in the third quarter, ginawa ni Macardona. May rapantayan talaga si Mac because he has a very unorthodox type of shot, and he can get quickly into the lane. I think they'll give Alexander rest here. And this is a lineup. This is a combination that has also worked for them. Asi and Rico Villanueva playing together at the same time. Three-point play is completed by Matt. He's got seven points in total and he has brought Enlex to within nine. Acuna in the backcourt. Trying to dribble out of trouble. He's on on the catch, back over to Acuna to set up the attack. Because Acuna is a shooter. He's not a, a guy who can set up plays or call plays. Heruela asking for it far side. Brian is bumped by Canaleta. That's not a good foul because they're in the penalty. And Heruela has been struggling in the third quarter with his outside shots. Now you give him free throw shots. Baka ito yung inaantay na pagkakataon niya. No? Ito ni Brian Heruela. And as great as his stats have been, Ayun, pumasok naman yung unang free throw. Yun ang isang problema niya. Less than 57% shooting from the free throw line. But tonight, he is 2 for 2. As this little Hercules has been rising. Titik naman naman yung kanyang form. Should be about an 80-85% free throw shooter. I think most of the free throws sometimes na minimintis niya. Dahil sa pagod niya. Sa haba ng mga minutes na linalaro niya. Eh, dito, medyo matagal lang napahinga siya dito. Ganda kasi nga nung nilaro. Neto ni Nakanyata. And Reyes, no? As Mac Cardona is pumping some life into the fight of the Road Warriors. He has scored the last nine points. And a good timeout here called by Acuna. Because if you give the ball to Acuna under pressure, he's not going to be able to push it past the half-court line. Magagandang pick na. Kalimutan nyo na po, yung napanood nyo na half-time. Mas maniniwala ako kito kaysa sa amin ni Cardo. Kanya-kanya ang feeling yun. What do you think po? Ayan po ha, nadagdaga ng mga picks natin para sa fantasy ball bukas. Wala kay Dr. J. Andy Awa. Sir Wella, yun yung binabanggit mo, Doc. Naka-free throw na, kakuha na ng jumper doon. Yeah, he definitely get in the field. 2.7 seconds is enough time to get off a good shot here. But they have to have a good play. Lingan ay maglalabas mula sa baseline. Canaleta trying to break free. Nataliisot niya lang ni Sunday doon. And not also a good foul because they're in the penalty. Two free throws. At eto, isa pang scoreless man to, no? Si Nino Canaleta. Kan kanina, nakakuha ng mga play throw si Herwela, nakakuha yung range, baka ganun din mangyari para kay Oni. Yeah, you know, Nino should be a really good free throw shooter. Look at that form. You know? And he's just looking for his shot from the outside now. He should be, ang problema niya, mahilig siya mag-hesitate. He wants to put you the fake and then dribble around you, then go for a jump shot. Look at Sander. You know, nakikis na enough. enough time for a Hail Mary. Salvation launches. Pero di Ubra, sumatapos ang unang 36 na minuto ng aksyon. Ang Blackwater Elite po ang may tanga ng 10 puntos sa kalamangan. 67-57 ang nasa ating talang.